Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Notion has been coming out with more new updates. Today we wanted to share all of the new features since our last Notion update video. We're especially excited about some of the editor improvements which will help make building Notion pages even more enjoyable. Spell check is now more reliable when you use it. To fix misspelled words, just right click the misspelled word to find all of your options. Typing new entries in to-do, bullet, and number lists are even easier. You can just press the return key at the start of one of these entries to create a new to-do, bullet, or number list item. If a table or database is the last block on a page, just click below it to create a new block. It's much more seamless to add extra blocks to your pages. Strike through has a new shortcut. Control or Command plus Shift plus X or Control or Command plus Shift plus S. Browse all images in one page. Double click any image in your page to browse all images in the page. If you have a really lengthy page full of pictures and text, this can be an easier way to go through them all. Choose the type when you create new properties. In the past, new properties defaulted to text. Now you can choose the type when you create new properties in a database. This makes your workflow even easier. More flexible columns. You're no longer limited by your margin widths when setting column widths. You can explore new formats and page layouts with these improvements. Third-party app connection setting improvements. Integration with third-party apps are renamed connections. You can access settings for each page by going to the three dots on the top right side of the page. Click plus add connection to add these third-party app connections. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about all these new features. Which one are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.